So this short video is going to show you how you can uh, make presentation quality images uh, of your microscope images in PowerPoint. So by presentation quality, uh, we mean two things. Uh, so we mean uh, having um, the magnification in the top left hand corner, so knowing the total magnification, uh, having a labelled scale bar in the, uh, in the bottom and just having a decent quality microscope image. So here we've got an image of some chloroplasts. So to do this, what you'll need um, are two images. You need an image of your chloroplasts or whatever your uh, biological specimen is, and you need an image uh, taken of the stage micrometer at the same magnification as your specimen. They must have been taken at the same magnification. OK, so uh, I'm just going to give you a walkthrough of how I would process these uh, in PowerPoint. So. Um, so if I uh, get my two images, OK, what's really important is that whatever you do to one image, you have to do to the other. So, for example, um, I want to uh, resize these a little bit so I can work with them. So I'm going to resize them both simultaneously so I can put them side by side. You must do it side by side. OK, so uh, if I look at this image here, so the first thing I'm going to do is to crop it just a little bit. Um, it's a little bit blurry on this side. That doesn't look quite so good, whereas this bit in the middle is nice and sharp. So I'm just going to crop in. So I've got the highest quality uh, image uh, that I can get. I haven't changed the sizing. I've just cropped it. The magnification hasn't changed. Okay. Now, what the most important thing I need to do is to put a scale bar on this image. OK, so for this, I need to use uh, the image of my stage micrometer. So uh, just a reminder of the stage micrometer. So we talked about this in the practical, but this is just a reminder. So this is a view of the whole stage micrometer viewed under a slightly lower uh, magnification under the times 10 lens. So the whole stage micrometer is one millimetre long. Uh, there's that's the tiny ruler on the slide. So that whole thing is one millimetre long. It's labelled as naught to 100. So 100 on the scale is the same thing as one millimeter, which is the same thing as 1000 micrometers. Okay, so we can use this to calibrate the distance on my scale. So if I look at my magnification at times 40, I can only see uh, between 0 and, uh, 0 and 20 on the scale. So I need to know how big that is in micrometers. So what I can use if 100 on the scale is one millimeter, equals 1,000, then 10 on the scale must be 0.1 millimetre, must be 100 micrometres. OK, so what I can do now is to use that information. So I'm just going to rotate that round a little bit, just so it's slightly straighter. I'm then going to draw a line from 0 to 10 uh, on my uh, micrometer image. And I'm going to bump the weight up, so I might go up to four and a half on there. And I'm just going to colour it black. Okay. So I know that this line is correct on my, my, uh, my micrometer image, and I know that this is the same magnification as here. So what I can do is to take that image across to be a scale bar. Okay, so I know that these two pictures are exactly the same magnification. That's the way that I've processed them. So I can take that across. Then all I need to do is to label that so I know that it was if it was 10 on this scale, then that is at 100 micrometers. You need to have the correct symbol in there. Uh, so if you go to insert and go to symbol, um, then uh, if you search for micro, then you should get that micro symbol coming up. Important, you got the right one. Double click it and then it'll go into your uh, PowerPoint slide. Uh, 100 micrometers, so that's a lower case M uh, for micrometers. And I'm just going to uh, increase the size of that uh, label so it's really nice and clear uh, to see. And then what I need to do uh, is to take, uh, just put another label in to give my total magnification. So the total magnification is times 400. It was taken with a times 40 objective lens, uh, plus we had times 10 magnification in the eyepiece. 
uh, equals a total of 400 uh, magnification in total. So that's why I've labelled it as times 400. Okay, So that's all we need you to do. So we want a nice uh, sharp image of your specimen, total magnification in the corner, uh, and then a scale bar using your graticule and get that labelled. And then that's the image that needs to go into your report. So I don't want to see uh, a picture of the graticule in your report. I only want to see this nice smart image. And as a hint, um, if you um, uh, copy that and then you want to paste it in somewhere else to make sure that none of the scaling changes, if I just put in a new slide in, um, if I go to paste special um, and put that in uh, as a picture, as a TIFF, then that's pasted the whole thing. And now the whole thing will scale no matter what I do with it. If I just click Control V, if I just paste it as normal, then you can see when I scale it, it all kind of goes wrong. OK, but if I've uh, done it, uh, I'll just show you again, paste, paste special and a TIFF. Then you've got one so you can put that into Word, you can put that into wherever you need to. And you've now got your nice high quality microscope image. So that's what we're looking for. Um, you then need to write a figure legend uh, for that picture. Uh, and there's instructions of how to do that in the practical handbook. But that's what you need to do to get your nice uh, high quality microscope image prepared.